about to sneak into Michael Grinder's training room. He's a pioneer when it comes to nonverbal communication. Let's listen as he shares some of his secrets. Now, the person who is seated is going to show you. This is not a full massage. This is just something we're doing. Okay. Oh, you wanted it? No! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what we're going to do is she's going to touch somewhere on her back that is kind of a, one of those sore spots, whatever you want to call it. Okay? And I'm going to only put my thumb there. So, seated person, find the spot. Standing person, only put your thumb there. All right, now here's what we're going to do. Let me first demonstrate up here. I'm going to wait for, and I'm going to say, inhale. And when she inhales, I'm going to press in on the back. So just watch her. Inhale. I'm going to press in. Good. Now she's going to exhale, and I'm going to go back to being just barely touching. Inhale again. So twice I have pushed down when she's <laughs> inhaling. Now I'm going to ask her to inhale, exhale, and I only press in when she's exhaling. Watch again, she's going to inhale, exhale, and I press in. Now, here's what you're going to find in terms of breathing. When she is inhaling, she literally is releasing chemicals of fight or flight. When she's exhaling, she's releasing chemicals of calmness. When you press in during an inhale, you're fighting against, your body gets tight. And you can actually feel it on your thumb as well as she can feel it on her back. If I press in during an exhale, I have full permission. This is a metaphor when you talk and the brain is overloaded, what happens? You get resistance. Thanks for watching, but you're only scratching the surface. Jump over to michaelgrinder.com to learn more.